Hello and welcome to this tutorial and in this tutorial we will be creating the java class for our fragment and also we are going to design the bottom section fragment. So basically in the previous tutorial we have designed the top section fragments layout file so basically it consists only of the GUI and it does not consist of the java code. Now any fragment is similar to any of the activity so this is our main activity and it has two parts the xml file and java file so similar to the main activity we are going to have two files in here for the fragment so the first file is going to be the xml file which defines the layout and we also need to specify a second file which is the java file which is nothing but the brains of our fragment so in order to create a java file for your fragment you simply go to this app folder and under the app folder you'll have another folder which is called as java and if you click on this folder you could see that we have two folders here but your case might be different you might have a single java folder so in order to avoid confusion you just open up the two folders and we want the folder which consists of the main activity dot java file now in this case what we do as we need to add one more java file to it we simply right click on this folder go to new and click on the java class and as we are going to be designing the java class for the top section fragment let's say we name it as top section fragment now once we are done with this we click ok so a java file is automatically created for us so basically in this top section fragment.java we are going to write the code which is going to define the java class for our top section fragment so this file right here is nothing but it is the brain of this xml file right here so the first method which we need to add to this top section fragment is going to be the onCreate method but the thing is that as this is a fragment we need to go here and we need to type extends fragment as this is a fragment now we are having an error and that is because we have not imported the fragment so before typing in anything we just import some things so the first thing which we will need to import is going to be the bundle so we type import android dot os dot bundle then we import the fragment so we type import android dot support dot v4 dot app dot fragment and make sure that you have this as capital F not the small one now once we are done with this the next thing which we are going to do is that we are going to add a onCreate method to this class so in order to add the onCreate method we are going to use the code completion so we click the alt key hold it and we press the insert key and we need to select the override methods so we simply select it and the method which we are searching for is going to be the on create view so we type on create view and this is our method which we want to use so simply click ok and as you could see we have our on create view method created for us now what we do is that we simply delete this return statement and that is because we are going to add it later now the next thing which we need to do is that we need to set the layout for this fragment so in order to set the layout for fragment we simply type in some code so if you have a look at our main activity dot java this is our on create method and actually you will not be needing all this stuff which is present over here so what we do is that we simply delete it and we are going to only save certain parts which are required for our application to perform so we simply delete entire code and this is the main code which we will be needing in our main activity so in the main activity we have used the set content view so basically we'll be needing to create a view in the top section fragment dot java as well so in order to create a view over here we type view view equals and in this case we are going to use the inflator to set the view so we type inflator dot inflate and this inflate method is going to take three parameters so we specify the three parameters over here so the first parameter is going to be the reference to the layout so we type r dot layout dot and as we are talking about the top section fragment so we select the top section fragment 
and the second parameter for it is going to be the container and the third parameter is the boolean value so we specify false now finally we need to return this view so we type return view now once we are done with this we are pretty much done with designing the top section fragment.java class now the next thing which we do is that as we have created the xml file for the top section fragment we are going to create a xml file or the layout file for the bottom section fragment so in order to create that we simply right click onto this layout folder go to new and select the layout resource file and as it contains picture we are going to name it as bottom picture fragment and also we are going to specify the relative layout for it and finally click ok and as you could see you will have your bottom picture fragment ready with you now as in the bottom section fragment we are going to add an image to it so this fragment right here is only going to consist of an image so in order to add an image to it we simply go to properties and in the background we have a button right here which is which allows us to add any file so we simply click on it so when we click on that button so we will have a window pop up like this and it is going to consist of the project system and the color so basically if you want to select any color you could go on to the colors tab and you could select the color for your background but if you are going to need an image then you simply go on to this project tab and inside project tab you will be having the different folders for colors as well as the drawable so our image is basically stored under under the drawable folder so we simply go to the drawable folder then we scroll down and we could have our image right over here so once we select our image we click ok and you could see that our image has been successfully loaded as a background on the bottom picture fragment so that's how you design a java class for your top section fragment and that's how you design the layout for your bottom section fragment so that's it for this tutorial and in the next tutorial what we are going to do is that we are going to combine the top section fragment which is this file right here or this activity right here and the bottom section fragment into a single activity which is nothing but the content main.xml so thank you very much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next tutorial